I could really see almost any woman pulling this off. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a quick little review on Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct for her. A lot of the First Instinct line, actually all of the First Instinct line has been unusually cheap online compared to other Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances. They're usually a lot more. I've tried all the First Instinct line because they've been so cheap and I've liked Abercrombie fragrances and I've been hyping them pretty much since the beginning. I think I was one of the first people to make a video on the original Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct for him. A lot of people started searching for First Instinct after it kind of got popular and I never really put my nose on this one this one's very affordable very cheap and i was interested to see if it kind of had any of the similarities to the other first instinct dna's or is it likable or does it do its own thing super super cheap super affordable after i kind of do a little bit more assessing i'm going to give this away we'll see you after i do a little bit more testing the notes for this one are tonka bean butterfly orchid amber passion fruit magnolia orange blossom grapefruit so this one's definitely more youthful than mature but at the same time i could really see almost any woman pulling this off to me i like women's fragrances that are sweet or flowery or likable that's just kind of what i like in women's fragrances a lot of women nowadays they kind of want a little bit more of a bold fragrance a little bit more uh, mature respectable kind of fragrance and i don't mind those fragrances at all but typically when i'm smelling a, fe a female fragrance i want it to be likable fruity or sweet and this is kind of what it covers on all bases so i was wondering what note in here kind of gave it that female smell because it has a definite female style smell and I think it is the butterfly orchid in there. But besides that, it's a very likable smell. The projection on this one is pretty solid, but for female fragrances, I would say it's kind of average. But as far as men's fragrances, this is slightly above average. So let's jump into the pros and the cons here. The pros is that it's very cheap, very, very cheap. I think I got this for about $20, super affordable, 3.4 ounce as well. It's got a great presentation. I really just enjoyed the presentation overall. That doesn't really have anything to do with the juice. If I do like the presentation, I do want to note it. It has a very, very good sprayer. It seems to put out more juice than the other first instincts. It has a very likable smell and it is very versatile. The only time I could see somebody not liking this fragrance is if you're a female and you have to like fire people, you have to do these really stressful things. This is so likable and so nice. Maybe you wouldn't want something like that. You'd want something a little more serious. Just about for anybody, I really, really enjoyed this fragrance. It is more youthful than mature. I said that before, but it's just really solid. I could see almost anybody pulling this off. So the cons, it has average longevity, I think, for female fragrances. I would say this is slightly above average for men's style fragrance just because it's got this fruity, um, fresh style smell that usually goes away a little bit quicker on average for this style fragrance. But I would say it's right down the middle. I kind of had to put that as a negative. People were saying that on fragrance because it's not overly unique and complex. And besides that, I have nothing you know really bad to say about it. It doesn't have the longest longevity and projection and it's not overly unique and complex. It is just kind of right down the middle, but I kind of like it for that. If I were to give it a smell rating, I'd give it a 7.5 to an 8. 7.5 seems low. Eight seems a little high just because I haven't done enough testing on female fragrances and the smell rating. I kind of incorporate how unique a fragrance is to my personal smell rating. So I give it a 7.5 to an eight. For likability, I would give it a solid 8.5. I think that's its strong suit, very, very solid. And longevity and projection, I'd give it a 7.5 because I did spray this um, compared to other men's fragrances and something like Jaguar Pace, this definitely you know lasted a lot longer. I don't think it has super long projection, but when I was getting relatively close to my skin this lasted for a long time i would say probably about around 12 hours on skin granted it's not projecting super hard but it's definitely noticeable at the lowest i would say this is average and again if this was a men's fragrance i would say it's above average so anyways guys and girls let me know what you think of abercrombie and fitch first instinct for her have you tried it have you not tried it i'll be very interested to see down below we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace passion flute magnolia